If you suspect that your thoughts are inhibiting your ability to be happy, here are some things that you can do. First of all, if you are suicidal or in any danger, you need to go see a mental health professional. Call 911 and go to the hospital. Putting that aside, let's go on. Some people are barraged by negative thoughts. It's almost like they're in the middle of a river and the water is just flowing over them and they're drowning and they can't get out. It's like being a victim to your own thoughts. So one of the first things that I would recommend that people do is learn how to swim mentally. You can do this through something called meditation or mindfulness. I made a separate video where I talked about how to do this, but you can look it up. The next thing you can do is something called a mantra. Sometimes we will have a persistent negative thought that will attack us again and again and again, and we can't get it to go away. We can use a mantra, almost like a sword or a weapon or a shield, to fight back or beat back this thought that will not get away from us. A mantra can be different things for different people, but in this context, think of it like a positive phrase that has meaning to us that creates an emotional response inside of us. I had one patient that would simply say, I am a good person, and they would shout that over and over again until they felt better. You can say anything you want. You could say, I'm the king of the world. Whatever creates an emotional response for you is gonna work. Another thing they found to be very helpful is actually just breathing deeply and slowly. Uh, one study was performed in which they had people breathe seven times very slowly and deeply, and it caused this dramatic change in their brain activity and calmed them down. Yet another thing was exercising. There have been a number of studies showing that exercise can be as effective or even more effective in some cases than the best medications that we have for depression and anxiety. The next thing is journaling. They found that if people will write down their goals in a journal and keep track of what they're planning to do the next day and what they did the day before, this can be tremendously helpful for some people. Oddly enough, another thing that was very helpful was stretching, often called yoga. The next thing is getting out of your house. For a lot of people, when they get depressed, they get anxious, they hide in their houses. And it turns out that long term, this looks like it probably just makes it worse. Get out, be around people that love you and care about you, even though it's the last thing you wanna do when you're depressed. The next thing is avoid toxic substances like drugs and alcohol. It might make you feel better in the short term, but in the long term, it's gonna sacrifice your well-being. Lastly, never betray your conscience. It's one of the quickest ways to be unhappy.